Hey guys, what's going on? It is TV Plop here, and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be playing some Fortnite solo. Uh, but, yeah. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna try and fly it further away so that way I can actually land correctly. Okay, come on. Come on, before someone else gets here, come on. Okay, so it doesn't look like there are any guns over here. Crap, that's not good. By the way, guys, for this video, I will most likely be hiding in bushes. Mainly because I haven't played this in a while, so. <laughs> but yeah, I haven't played this. In, I just haven't played this in a while. This is a really good bush. Come on. Okay, so the eye will be shrinking in about... Oh, I'm already inside the eye. That is awesome! So you guys will notice that my face cam is actually more zoomed in on my face. That is because um, I pushed my monitor back because I had I realized I had room on my desk, so so I pushed it back a bit, and then um, so I have this thing that I put in front of my lighting, so that way if I'm recording and it's dark, um, I can use my face cam and you can still see my face easily. Okay, I'm. I'm going up on this house. Wanna stay hidden and low. Are you kidding me? I've literally got nothing but ammo. This sucks. I'm really hoping that shiny thing is good. I don't care if it's gray. If it's a gray, I will still get it. I'm not joking. I've already spent too long without a gun. Are you kidding me? Of course. It's bandages and ammo. Man, this is gonna annoy me. Am I not gonna get a gun for this entire game? Wait, if I don't, as long as I don't get a gun, I could do sort of like a challenge. And as long as I hold these the bandages. So guys, um, I just tried uh, bandages. If you're trying to hide um, in a bush or something like that, oh my gosh, I just found a gun, I think. Wait, yo, that's an SMG. Yep, knew it. Okay. But I would, what I was saying is that if I don't get a gun, then I could be doing a challenge.
There is no way. Come on. That guy had to have seen me go in that spot. No. I'm calling complete BS on that guy. I... If you actually didn't, then... Oh my gosh, I cannot believe I got away. Good. Okay, so now the storm is... Dang it. So I'm not gonna just be playing um one round for this video, so I'm so I will see you guys back and I the next round I guess. Okay, so I'm now in the next round. Actually. You know, for this round, I'm gonna go completely bush. Okay, I see it. I see the mountain that, I, that I'm gonna go to. For the start. That one, right there in front of me. Never mind. Looks like I'm gonna do it this way. Or... This is a good enough bush that I could just... Hide right here. But at the same time, I need to at least see if... Oh! <gasps> no way. That's a gun. No way. Slurp juice? Are you kidding me? And are you seriously kidding me? In case somebody comes by. Because they heard that. I need to get this chest. No way. For some reason I have a weird feeling that somebody's here. I don't know why. Here's the thing. If you land in, in the middle of the map, you have more of a chance of actually landing inside the eye. Um, which, that white circle that you see on the screen, that is the, that is the eye. As long as you're inside of it, you're safe. Go, go, go. Come on. Once you go green, you don't, you don't go gray. I think that's how my friend put it one day. 
It's my first time getting a green, and he said, once you go green, you go, you can't go gray. Or something like that. I'm a really good bush hider. I'm good at finding good bushes. So, for the third round and final round of this video, I'm gonna land at Loot Lake. That is the and the, the middle of it, which is the most risky, the most riskiest, the riskiest thing you can pull, which is landing there. It's so dang dangerous to land there, and yet I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take the chance. Honestly, if I were patient enough, I could just sit right here. So guys, if you guys are hiding in a bush, don't go like this to look around or something like that. Don't go fast. Go nice and slow because watch. See how my head pops up? You don't want that. You want your head to stay low. Down low. So if you just keep on going slowly, you're safe. Now, the storm is coming in. I better make it through the first round. First part. Unless you know it's safe, don't go popping your head up like this. Like, I'm taking a huge risk just by doing that. So yeah, don't pull what I just pulled. Don't pop like that. Because it's very risky. Okay. I can't wait till next year because next year I'm gonna be having a three monitor setup, which means that possibly on one of them, uh, let's see, um, I have, uh, so on one of them I could possibly have um, a web, my webcam thing up, so that way I could just change it in the middle of it, because I think that would be pretty awesome. I'm taking an even bigger risk just by doing that. Here's the thing. So guys, if you guys are doing this bush challenge and you guys want some attention so people will come over to you and they're like, where is that coming from and everything? They're most likely not going to check the bushes. So shoot, but don't be like full on like firing and not stopping. You have to stop. Be able to look around because if you don't, then you're risking your life. The bad thing about Loot Lake is, as you guys can see here on the map, it's right, it's more, see, right in between Dusty Depot and the place, the mountain that I'm at, right in between there is the middle like somewhere in the middle is the middle of the map so yeah and so that's why I don't really want to land near Loot Lake is because as you guys can see I'm on like I'm closer to the edge and I'd rather not have a far enough as far of a run Don't risk it. See, when the eye changes spots, and you need to get to the into the eye, you have this. These are the times when you actually have to risk it and go out into the um, public, go out into the open and everything. Because you have to risk trying to get into 
the eye. So I think that's a very difficult for me to get used to so far. Is the sprint key. Your player, your character doesn't automatically sprint. Which means that you have to hit a key. And it's shift. And I'm used to that being crouch. But no, control is crouch. Person's probably like, run. See, the you something you also have to watch in this game for Battle Royale is this side underneath the map. There's the time you have to, you have to watch that, and I can. No way! He was hidden! Ah! Oh. I bet that was the kid who I shot at first. Well, I guess I'll see you guys in the next round. Okay, so I'm in the third and final round. And as I said, I'm gonna land in the middle of Loot Lake. Now, this is one of the m most risky plays. I have to risk it. Go, go, go. You have to aim more down. Okay, come on. Come on. I need to get to Loot Lake first. Especially the sensor. Because... Well, the center of Loot Lake is like where the pros go. So this could be, this could either go completely as planned or completely the opposite as planned. And as I said, I died for a try and oh my gosh, I can't even land there. These people are landing where I wanted to land. Okay, I have to do a big risk and run. I'm in a danger zone. Here's the thing, Loot Lake, that's a, it's a really big spot. Dang it. So it seems like I gotta go to my normal spot now. Let I'm gonna be I'm just gonna run for it. This could actually be one the short this round I've ever done. Or it could be Actually, I think the shortest one was that I literally, as soon as I landed, somebody um, used a rocket launcher on me. Yeah, um, oh yeah, that has happened to me. Um, so, yeah, that was my shortest round, and nothing can top that. Because that was a freaking nightmare. I was really upset when that happened. And if you guys think I'm just telling a lie, I am actually not. I actually have landed five seconds, about about ten, five to ten seconds, and somebody um, runs up behind me and uses a rocket launcher. Miss the first shot, and then try the second time, and hit me. Okay, any gun. That's good right now.
Oh yeah, yep, I'm dead. I'm gonna die. Unless there's a very low chance that I get away with this. No way. Dang it! Dang it! He got the crate! Mm. I think I know what happened. I think he jumped. Drop down from that top hole. The that hole in the ceiling that you guys saw. I think he dropped down from there, and then shot and killed me. That crate is what I was going for. Dang it! Did he even get that dang crate? So yeah, so this mountain, so guys, right here, next to this mountain, next to loot like, ne right next to your Dusty Depot, there's um, a little place right there, on the map. If you guys go to there, you guys can actually get a crate. There's a really, there's a, there's a really good chance that there's going to be a crate there. Well, I'm going to return to the lobby. Oh, dang it, so now that I died. But yeah, guys, that's gonna do it for today, guys. And see ya. I am TV Club, and I'll see you guys later. See ya. Floor, just a rebel on your own. On a bed to bed to bed to trip. On a bed to bed to bed to.